Take a slow breath in through your nostrils. Open mouth, exhale, let go. Sitting up nice and tall, take a slow breath in. Side out, exhale. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Stretch your arms over your head, please. Reach up through your fingertips. Bring your hands together at your heart. Side out, exhale. With your eyes closed, your lips sealed, your palms together. Let's take a few more rounds of breath, just on your own, at your own pace. Breathe in and out through your nostrils, though, if you can, please. Breathing through just your nostrils, and you keep the breath full and deep. Well, adding in that element of sound to your breath. You can hear your breath as a loud whisper. You can feel the vibration of your breath moving through you and around you. Take a few breaths right here and now, adding that sound quality, maintaining or even deepening the breath and setting the intention for our practice today. In the building of any pose, we follow a sort of universal set of principles to help provide structure to the pose. Each of us having our own unique body and experience may vary a little bit from these principles. But for the most part, it's a good outline on how we can each build a strong pose. The principles start with establishing a foundation. You set a foundation so that we might then have the freedom to build and expand. And that's our, our theme today, using principles of alignment to establish a stable foundation in which to build, in which to grow with freedom and with bliss. Freedom comes into our practice in a lot of different ways. It's what allows us to even be here in practice, but it's also something that um, provides us with agency while we're here. We have the choice of choosing to be limited or to expand. And it's not always easy to see the choice as it's happening in the moment. Working to create a foundation beneath you that's stable and secure will hopefully allow you to choose more easily that path of expansion, which you're free to take or not take. So together, establishing a stable foundation so that we can freely expand into our best self. Hands to your heart, exhale your breath all the way out, please. Inhale for Om. Your eyes open. Let's come forward onto our hands and knees. Thanks again for being here, everyone. So glad that you joined in today. Coming onto your hands and knees. 
Spread your fingers nice and wide. Shift your weight forward a little bit so that your palms are starting to lift up, but your knuckles and fingers stay down. So the, one of the ways that we establish foundation more almost often is in our hands and feet. It's, let's say, I'm gonna make it just to make up a number here, 90% of the time or more, it's how we connect to the world around us. It's how we stabilize yourself, hands and feet. So using these next few moments to bring awareness, strength, mobility into our hands and feet. Go ahead and lower your palms down if they're still lifted. Lean forward, lift your palms up, and lower the palms down. We'll do that a few times. Lift your palms, lower your palms. Lift your palms, lower your palms. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one, lower the palms down. Now, please walk your knees in just a little bit closer, friends, so that you're not able to lean back too much here. If anything, please lean forward. Keep your shoulders over your wrists as much as you can. You're gonna come up to your fingertips without rocking back. So really pushing down into your fingertips. It's like you're doing the push-ups in your fingers. Lower the palms back down, keep your arms straight. Come up to your fingertips, lower the fingertips, the palms back down. Good, June, walk your knees in closer, June, and lean forward, okay? Lift up to your fingertips, lower the palms back down. So that you're not leaning back, lean forward. Let's do that three more times. Fingertips, leaning forward, palms down. Fingertips, leaning forward, palms down. Last time, fingertips, hold it. Stay on your fingertips, bring your chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone, cat pose. Round into your upper back, friends. Pushing down, gripping the mat with your finger pads so that it feels like you're scrunching up the mat beneath your hands. So we're really strengthening the hands to these actions. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your, uh, spin your thighs back, lift your chest up, drop your belly down. Keep it going, exhale, cat pose. Chin to chest, round in. Inhale, cow pose, thighs back and heart lifted. Keep it up, exhale, cat pose. Chin to chest. Inhale, cow pose, heart to the side. Come back to a neutral spine, a flat back, and turn your palms now face up, pointing your fingers in towards each other. Palms face up, wiggle your fingers, roll out your thumbs, rock out side to side. Side to side for five. Wiggle the fingers, roll out your thumbs, four. You can kind of squeeze your hand into a fist a little bit. Won't probably go all the way, but curl the fingers in. Three, side to side, pressing down, two, and one. Come back through to center, please. Turn your palms face down, point your fingers back towards your thighs. Lean forward, go past your wrists, press down into your hands, cat pose. Shift your weight forward, lean into it, keep going forward. Inhale, take it back cow pose. Move your butt to your heels so that your palms are lifting off the ground a little bit. Exhale, cat pose. Keep it moving. Rock it forward, chin to chest. Inhale, move your bum to your heels. Rock it back. Cow pose. Lift your palms a little bit. Look up if you can. One more time. Exhale, shift it forward, chin to chest. Lean into it. Inhale, rock back, move your bum to your heels, lift into your hands. We're gonna sit all the way back now onto the tops of our feet, hands by your side. Tone your thighs, legs get really active here. This might be where you stay. Knees are in what's called known as deep flexion, where the knee is fully bent, and you've got nice uh, pressure on your ankles to stretch. If you want more, you can lean back and lift your knees up off the mat. Sometimes it's helpful to you know, use your hands to lift it up so you can use one hand to lift one knee. I'm gonna give you a few variations here. Maybe you pick up both knees and you just use no hands at all. You can also push hands into thighs and lift thighs into hands. That's gonna be a lot more intense. Hold it for three, two, and one. Lower your knees back down if they're up. Please come onto your hands and knees again. So far we've moved our spine in a few different directions. We've done 
flexion and extension with the cat cows. So now we're adding some rotation. Reach your left arm out to your left, please. Then slide your left arm underneath you and land all the way down onto the back of your left shoulder, all the way down onto the left side of your head. Press down into your right hand. Just take a gentle twist, rolling the right shoulder back. Revisiting our theme will create a solid foundation so that we might have a little bit more freedom within our movement. Tone your thighs, hug your shins in, feel your thigh bone rooted into the hip in this, this position that's really good anchoring for the hips. Keep that. Spin your inner thighs back to broaden your hips a little bit and move your hips slightly to the left. Great, so now we've got all of the actions of engagement in place. Lift your belly in towards your spine. Walk your right fingertips forward, twist. Stretch your freedom, knowing you're anchored, keeping that engagement in your legs. Bring your right hand back down right next to your nose. Push down to your right hand, please, and sweep your left arm all the way back out to the left and up to the sky. Step your left foot back into a supported side plank pose. Push down through your right hand, reach forward through your left fingertips. Look up, lean back, big inhale. Step your left foot all the way forward to the top of the mat, please. Left foot comes forward. Place your left hand down, look forward and lunge. Drop your hips, lift your chest, pull forward into your heart. We'll straighten the left leg, exhale. Flex your toes, move your hips back. Tone your thighs, drop thighs to hips, press out through your feet. Inhale, rock forward and lunge, stretch through your chest. Pull forward into your heart. Exhale, left leg extends, flex your toes, pull your hips back. One more time, just like that. Inhale, rock forward and lunge. Stretch through your legs, lift through your chest. Exhale, extend through your left leg. Please flex your toes. Nice, friends. Come forward, back into a lunge. Option to keep your back knee down or lift it up. You're going to circle your left arm up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Left arm goes up. Left elbow is going to come down and tap the ground or get as close as to the ground as you can, right between your foot and your hand. The left elbow taps the ground. Let's go again. Left arm up to the sky. Reach up. You can look up. Left elbow taps the ground. Inhale, open your left arm back up to the sky. Exhale, left elbow taps the ground. Open your left arm back up. Push through your right hand. We're actually going to take the left foot back to a side plank pose. Now the right knee is lifted. Step your left foot to meet your right foot as best you can, keeping that right knee up if you can so that you're working your core. Place your left hand down on the ground, please. And lower, chaturanga, bend your elbows, cobra pose, lift your chest, downward dog, take your hips up and back. Very nice, my friends. Shake out your hips and shoulders just a little bit here. Shake it out, shake it out. And we'll lift up high to the tippiest of toes before lowering your knees back down to the ground so we can get to the other side. Right arm reaches out to your right. Stretch through your right fingertips. Press through your left hand. Sweep the right arm under. Come to land on the back of your right shoulder, please, and on the right side of your head. Once again, just engaging your legs to create a stable base, stable foundation. Shins in, quads flex, thighs press back, inner thighs spin back, inner thighs spin back. And that should give you the sense of broadening your hips. Move your hips a little bit to the right. Draw your navel in, please. You can stay right here or start to deepen your twist, keeping all of that action in place. Left hand might walk to the top of the mat. It's okay if you're not highlighting every single one of those movements within you. Just do your best. Over time, your awareness continues to grow and expand. You become more conscious of these little movements. They become easier to control and tap into. Shins in, thighs back. Belly in twist. Bring your left hand 
back down in front of your nose and open your right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot back, big stretch, reach forward, lean back, look up. Step your right foot to the top of the mat, please. Big step forward. Place your right hand down inside of your right ankle. Look forward and lunge. Stretch to your legs. Pull your heart forward. Exhale. Right leg extends. Flex your toes. Pull your hips back, please. Think about keeping the legs active. Inhale. Rock forward. Lunge. Press your hips forward and down. Chest pulls forward. Exhale. Straight legs. Pull your hips back. Flex your toes. Flex your quads. Inhale, rock forward, lunge. Exhale, straighten your right leg, flex your toes, flex your thighs. As you rock forward back into a lunge, option to keep the back knee down or lift it up. Sweep your right arm to the sky for a twist, please. Legs are active. Stack your shoulders, inhale. Bring your right elbow to tap the ground just between your hand and your foot, exhale. Good, Nico. Inhale, take the arm back to the sky. Reach up, lean back. Exhale, right elbow taps the ground. Inhale, right arm opens up. Exhale, right elbow taps the ground. Inhale, open it up. Step your right foot back to your left foot side plank pose. Hold it. If you can, keep your left knee up. Press to your left hand a lot. Spin your left bicep towards the front of the mat. So your left shoulder is externally rotating. Press to your feet, stretch to your fingers, reach forward. Place both hands down. Nice job, everyone. Lower chaturanga. All right, again, awake here. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Take your hips up and back. Shake out your shoulders. Shake out your hips. I've really grown to like walking forward with this walking split. So just do your best. We're gonna walk our splits forward. Here's what it's gonna look and feel like. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Make sure you're keeping the left leg active. Flex the thigh muscle, press to your left heel. Now step your left foot just forward of your right foot, bringing your left heel to line up, uh, to come a little bit in front of your right big toe. Left heel comes just forward of the right big toe. Now lift your right leg up, please. Tone your thighs, press to your heel, lift your leg up, and step your right foot just forward of your left big toe. We'll keep doing that until you get to the top of the mat. Press to your hands a lot. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward of the right foot. Right leg lifts. Right foot steps forward of the left foot. How about one more? Left leg lifts. Do your best. Left foot steps between your hands. Right leg lifts. Right foot steps next to left foot. Inhale, lift up halfway. That should have been exciting. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Push down into your feet, rise up. Take your arms to the sky. Grab a hold of your right wrist, side bend to your left side. This is a really good example of how to create a, a solid base so that we can expand with more freedom. Hug your shins in, tone your thigh muscles, Squeeze your glutes and draw your belly in. Now that our foundation is really solid, please expand with more freedom. Take your right hip to the right. Reach out through your right fingertips over to the left. Inhale, come back up. Grab your left wrist, please. Pull up. Keep the solid foundation. Shins in, thighs back. Glutes engaged. Belly pulls in. Side bend to your right side. Press your left hip out to the left. Reach out through your right fingertips. Inhale, come back up. Cactus your arms. So for this action, I'd like you to focus on making sure your back muscles are engaged. Move your shoulder blades towards each other. Now visualize your shoulder blades moving down towards your back pockets. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Opening the heart, lifting your chest up. Inhale, chair pose. Arms to the sky, knees bend, move your hips back. Extend out through your arms so that the arms are all the way extended. We don't want the elbows to be kind of bent like this. Really stretch it out. Maybe the arms have to go a little bit wider to get that full extension. Good, June. Move your hips back. Start to get low, my friends. We're here for three more breaths. Hug your shins in. Inner thigh spiral down. 
Good, Annie. Drop your hips and low thighs parallel to the ground. Last breath, get low. Good, Mason, keep going. Good, Lily, exhale, forward fold. Very nice, nice, Emily. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. You have two choices here. If you step back, step back to plank pose, but if you hop back, make sure you land with bent elbows. So you can step to plank or lightly hop to chaturanga. Go for it now. Inhale, cobra pose. Uh, Brian, move your elbows into your ribs more and back towards your hips more. Drop your shoulders. There you go. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please lift your right leg to the sky. We're going to take that same walking split action. Lift your right leg up and stretch it back. Step your right foot just forward of your left foot. Left leg lifts up. Tone the thighs, lift the heel. Left foot steps forward of the right foot. Keep it going. Right leg reaches up, stretches back. Right foot steps just forward of the left foot. You got it. Left leg lifts up and reaches back. Left foot steps forward of the right foot. One more time. Right leg lifts up. Right foot steps between the hands. Left leg lifts up. Left foot steps next to right foot. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, nose to knees. Inhale, rise up to standing. Take your arms to the sky. Right into the cactus arms this time. Slide the shoulders towards each other, shoulder blades. Then down to your back pockets. Lift into your chest. Open your heart. Chair pose. Inhale. Same action as before. Shins hug in. Inner thighs spiral down. As the inner thighs spiral down, you'll feel a broadening of your hips. Make sure you're also drawing your belly in, lifting the front of the hips gently away from the thighs. Now move the hips back and down. Get low. Good. Lower. Nice, Ellen. Even lower. Good, Evan. Exhale, forward fold. Really nice job, friends. Inhale, lift up halfway. Place the hands down. Your choice to step or hop back. If you jump back, land with bent elbows, please. Chaturanga. Cobra pose. Inhale. Shoulders down and back. Good. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Take a breath or two here, please. In through your nose, out through your nose. Really reconnecting with your ujjayi breath. In through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your nose. We'll continue to work to make our foundation stable and safe. Lift your left leg up to the sky. Please bring your left knee wide to your left shoulder. Tap your upper arm, a little bit of core work. Hold it, take your left leg back to the sky. Reach it up and back. And again, left knee to left arm. Tap the upper arm high and wide. Press to your hands, lean forward. Inhale, take it up and back, please. Left knee, left shoulder, tap your left arm. Step your left foot outside of your left hand. <laughs> nice, my friends. If you can, keep your back knee lifted here. We're going to work our forearms to or towards the ground as best you can. It's okay if they don't come down all the way. We're only going to be here for about five breaths or so. Please keep your legs strong. Tone your thighs. Hug your shins to the midline and scissor thighs into hips. Don't lose that action. Squeeze the right glute and press out through your feet more. Stretch out through your chest more. Rhonda, bring your left foot forward uh, a lot more. Just your left foot. Slowly make your way back up onto your hands, my friends. Keep your feet where they are, back knee lifted if you can. We're gonna straighten the left leg now, front leg extends. Tone your thighs. You can use blocks for this, you can use books or a stool, anything that you have handy to bring the ground closer to you. If you feel as though it feels really unstable, maybe you bring your back knee down for support. Keep the back heel lifted so that the inner right thigh is really spiraling back. 
We'll take two more breaths here. Right thigh spins back. Outer left hip wraps under. Stretch through your legs and fold. So Evan, I think a longer stance might actually be a little bit easier. I know it sounds counterintuitive. And you can keep the knees a little bit bent. Just do your best. Yeah, great use of the block too. Come forward and lunge, please. You're going to step your right foot now to the outside of your right hand. Right foot steps wider than the right hand. Bend your knees and squat. Heels in, toes out, holding here. So we're going to move between a squat and a forward fold. In my mind, these are probably two of the more functional movements we do in yoga. You know, in our day-to-day -day life, we're not going to do that many warrior twos around the house, most likely. But we might, we have the opportunity to do a lot of squatting and folding. So let's work on just making these foundational movements as strong as we can so that we have the freedom to move beyond just our yoga practice. Hands down, hips up, forward fold. Don't worry about the legs extending all the way. Instead, try to keep the action and integrity of the legs. Tone your thighs, spin your thighs back, and maybe squeeze your glutes a little bit as you pull your butt to the sky. Again, bend your knees, squat. Stop your hips, lift your chest. We're gonna move through it. Exhale, legs active, lift your hips, fold. Inhale, squat, keep squeezing your heels together. Exhale, lift your hips and fold. Flex your thighs, pull your butt to the ceiling. Uh, again, squat. Surprisingly hard to count to five. Exhale, fold. Let's do one more just for good luck. Inhale, squat. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, bring your chin to your chest, roll yourself up to standing, please. Take your arms up to the sky, big breath in, reach back a little bit, stretch back through your fingertips. Exhale, reach your hands forward. You can turn your feet forward now. Bend into your knees, we're gonna lower our butt all the way down to the ground. Use your hands if you need to. Lift your feet up, boat pose. Squeeze your knees together as best you can. A little bit of core activation. This is part of making our foundation strong, getting our core engaged so that we have more strength, more freedom throughout the rest of our movement. So let your toes tap the ground, please. Squeeze your thighs together, then extend your legs up to the sky. Two more like that. Toes tap the ground. Squeeze thighs together, knees together, toes to the sky as best you can. Again, toes tap and legs lift up. Keep the legs lifted. We're gonna lower ourselves all the way, or at least halfway down. Keep going slow, legs up, shoulders up, hold for three. Squeeze your thighs together, you've got this, two. Belly button pulls down to the ground, one. Bring your knees into your chest, rock back. Nice job, everyone. Rock forward, this is where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna rock back up to chair pose. All right, with as little momentum as you can, place your feet down, lift your hips up, chair pose. Our first round of crow pose, spread your fingers wide, bring your knees into your, the backs of your arms. Here are some options for you. With your fingers spread wide and your hands on the ground, you might just let your knees touch your arms and that's as far as you go today. And that's great. It's a great place to hang out and stay. Work on leaning forward as much as you can. If you want to go a little bit further today, you can squeeze your elbows in, lean forward more, and maybe try picking up one foot. Still looking to keep going, maybe the other foot comes up. Go for it now, wherever you are, whatever choice you're in. Good, Birch, and make sure you're looking forward, not at your feet, my friends. Good, Sherry, look forward a little bit more. Hug your forearms in, press through your hands a lot for three. Keep your hips up, two. Good, Lauren, lift your heels even more. And one, step back, plank pose, top of a push-up. All right, friends, lower down, chaturanga all the way to the ground. Stay nice and low, easy, cobra pose. Chest forward, shoulders back. Point your toes, press your feet down. Good, Evan. Pin the shoulders back, exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's do this on the right side. Lift your right leg up to the sky, please. A little bit of core activation. Right knee to the outer right shoulder. Rock forward. Tap your arm, please. 
Inhale, send your right leg up and back. See if you can rock forward a little bit more. Right knee, outer right shoulder, rock it forward. Inhale, send that right leg up and back. One more time, right knee, right shoulder, hold it. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Nice job. Back knee up or down your choice. I'm gonna start to work your forearms down to the ground. It's okay if your forearms don't come down. You can stay on your hand. You can use a pillow, a book, a blanket, anything you have to bring the ground a little closer to you. And maybe let your forearms rest there. Yeah, great. If nothing is available, just stay on your hands. That's fine. All you can do is be your best self in this practice, no matter what it is you're doing. Tone your thighs, please. Scissor your thighs together, draw thighs to hips. Keep that sense of drawing in as you expand out. From the center of your hips, press out through your legs. Pull forward through your chest. Breathe into your nose, out your nose. One more breath, you got this. Should be a pretty big stretch for your hips. Please come back up onto your hands. Keep your back knee lifted if you can. Straighten your legs now. Back knee is lifted if possible. If you need to bring it down, guess what? That's fine, that's great. Make your legs active and strong. Tone your thighs, draw thighs to hips. In the center of your hips, press out through your feet and fold in a little bit deeper. Legs are strong and active. Breath is flowing deep. In through your nose, out through your nose. Look forward, rock forward. Please step your left foot now to the outside of your left hand. Drop it like it's hot. Come into the squat position. Hands to your heart, big breath in. Let's do this five times. Exhale, lift your hips up. Forward fold, tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, come back into your squat. Heels down, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come back into your squat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and squat. Two more times, exhale, forward fold. Inhale and squat. Last time to fold, exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, bring your chin to your chest, roll your way up to standing, keep the arms up to the sky, reach up, stretch back. One more time down to our bums, bend your knees, lower your butt to the ground. Back into our boat pose, legs lifted, thighs together. All right, let's just do something slightly different so that we can have some fun with it. Take it back. Ardha Navasana, you know, right? Probably something you were all thinking, this is so fun doing core. It's so much fun. I'm so glad you think so too. All right, here we go. We're going to squeeze our thighs together, draw your belly button down, lift your right leg up, reach your arms over your head for three, two, one. Arms by your side, right leg down. Left leg lifts up, arms over your head. Hold it. Three, two, one, arms by your side. Keep the legs out, arms over your head. Hold it, three, squeeze your thighs, two. And one, lower down. All right, shouldn't have been like the hardest thing ever, but you definitely felt your core activated. So use that strength now. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock up, chair pose. Use your core strength to help create more stability so that you can freely expand into your true self. Hands come down. Last time in crow pose, bring your knees to the backs of your arms. Remember, you have some options here. Maybe you're just having your hands down with your knees touching your arms, and that's fine. You can stay right here. Maybe you choose to lean into it a little bit more, taking your weight forward. One or both feet might come up, but no pressure or expectation. Find what feels good for you. You're free to make that choice. Don't feel limited by what you can't do. Instead, embrace your strengths. Embrace what you're capable of. Shine a light on your strength and your capabilities. And watch what becomes impossible. When you're ready, friends, step or hop back, chatter under. 
Cobra pose, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work, my friends. Take a breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Please lift your left leg up to the sky. Bring your left knee into your chest and step your left foot between your hands, please. Rise up, crescent lunge, root down to rise up. So this is where we get a chance to put together everything we've been working on, the stable foundation that we've been building, now allowing us to move with freedom into a full express pose, into a fully open shape. Tone your thighs, hug your shins in towards the midline of the mat, scissor thighs into hips. Don't lose that. Lift your inner right thigh a little bit more, make your back leg stronger, then squeeze into your right glute and draw your belly in. Press through your feet deep in your lunge. Stretch through your fingertips, open your heart. Let's come into a warrior three, please. Sweep the arms back behind you, lean forward. If you wanna stay right here with both feet down, you're welcome to stay grounded. Otherwise, keep leaning forward until your right leg lifts up. Right. Option to interlace the hands behind the back if you want to. I'll give you a few options so that you can, a little more freedom in this practice. Lift your inner right thigh if the back leg is lifted. Actually, no matter where you are, inner right thigh is lifting. Draw your navel in, everybody, and stretch out through your legs, out through your heart. Wherever you ended up, place your hands down. Step your right foot way back if it's lifted. We're turning to our right side, skandasana. Your right knee will bend, and your left leg is going to stay, or going to extend. Keep your heels down. It's very much like the squat that we just took, only on one side. So move your thighs wide and move your hips down and back. Squeeze your heels together, please. Press out through your feet, lift into your chest. Stay with me, stay low, side angle pose. Walk your hands forward, place your left hand down inside your left ankle. Sweep your right arm forward and stretch. Left hand down. If you want to bring your left forearm, to your left thigh instead. It's a nice place to modify so you can stay pretty active in the pose. Let's take a moment here to really set that stable foundation, press through all four corners of the feet, inner edges and outer edges of the feet sealed into the mat. Tone your thighs, squeeze your heels together, draw your thighs up towards your hips. Right inner thigh spins back, squeeze into the right glute, left hip wraps under, press through your feet to lunge. Place your right hand down, everybody. Let's roll over to the right side, side plank pose. Take your left arm to the sky and step your left foot to meet your right foot. If you want to step your left foot back behind you for a wild thing, you can. I love these wild things. They feel really good. Big stretch through your fingertips. Lift into your hips. Please meet me back in plank pose, top of a push-up. Nice job, my friends. Your choice is to stay right here or to continue to move through your vinyasa. Lower chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Please lift your right leg to the sky. Bring your right knee into your chest, please. Step between your hands. Rise up, crescent lunge. Remember to establish that solid foundation, not just the physical application of your knowledge, but also your breath, also your openness to grace. You're willing to uh, expand or contract as needed. You're willing to create subtle adjustments to the pose with ease and elegance, if you will, right? without too much force. Lift your inner left thigh, squeeze into the left glute, in the center of your hips, press out through your feet to deepen your lunge. Let's come forward, either both feet down or warrior three. Great options last time. You don't have to do the same thing you did on the last side, but you probably might, you probably should. Interlace the hands behind your back if you did before. 
wherever you end up, let's all work to keep the legs active. Tone your thighs. Please lift your inner left thigh, making your back leg strong. Then stretch, press through your feet, stretch through your heart. You got it, friends. Big extension here. Everybody, hands down, turning to your left side. You got it, Gene Skandasana. Turn to your left. Heels down. Thighs move in towards hips. Imagine your hips are like trying to suction your legs back in, retracting your legs back in. This action will create what's called Mula Bandha, a lifting of the pelvic floor. Keep that as you come forward to your side angle pose. Right hand coming down to the top of the mat, left arm sweeping forward out in front of you. You're still creating that pelvic floor lift. Tone your thighs, squeeze heels towards each other, energetically draw thighs to hips. Without losing that, press your inner left thigh back, lift the back of the left thigh a little higher. Wrap your outer right hip underneath you more. Rather than looking at the camera, look over to your left, right, so that you can get your spine in line. It's gonna help you a lot more with your rotation. Draw your belly in and stretch, press through your feet, deepen your lunge. Take your left hand down and roll over to your left side, side plank pose, right arm to the sky. Right foot steps back. Breathe, if you wanna step your right foot behind you, come into a wild thing. Press through your feet, lift through your hips. Once again, avoid looking at the camera for a moment and drop your gaze down towards the ground. Look out towards your right thumb. Let's all bring it back. Plank pose, top of the push-up. Stay here or continue to flow through your vinyasa. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, open your heart. Downward dog, take it back. So good, everybody. Before we do it again, please find your breath. In through your nose, out through your nose. In through your nose. Out through your nose. Big breath in and all the way out. Left leg lifts up high to the sky, please. This time we're gonna add left knee into your chest, cross the body, take your left knee to tap your right arm. Cross the body, tap left knee to right arm, then open the leg back to the sky. Once again, left knee to tap the right arm, cross the body, this is our last bit of core. Open your left leg up. One more time, left knee to tap the right arm. Hold it here. Stretch your left leg out towards the right. Hold it there. You can keep both hands down on the ground or open your right arm up to the sky for a breath. Press up through your feet, reach up through your fingertips. Place your right hand down. Take your left leg back to the sky, three-legged dog. Bring your left knee into your chest, step between your hands. Use your strength to create a stable foundation and rise. Push down, rise up, arms to the sky. Lift your inner right thigh, wrap your left hip back, deepen your lunge. Go ahead and take a twist here as well. Reach your right arm forward, reach your left arm back. Then take your left hand back behind you to your right thigh. Take your right arm up to the sky, reach up and stretch back. Press through your feet, lift through your chest. What we can notice here is that because our foundation is so stable and strong, we have this freedom now to start changing the pose, to start going deeper or exploring other options. Our foundation is stable. We have the freedom now to grow. Right arm reaches up and back. Circle your left arm back up to the sky. Straighten your left leg. Turn to your right side. Skandasana. Take as many movements as you need to get there, friends. Heels down, right knee bent, left leg straight. Probably at the back of your mat, just a good place to find yourself right now. Right knee is bent and left leg is straight. I think Sunny maybe switch sides. Yeah, good choice. 
come forward, please side angle pose. This is our last time through, left hand down, inside the left ankle, right arm reaches forward now. Deep lunge into your left leg, strong action through your back leg. Right thigh presses back, left hip wraps under, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. So we're gonna add a half moon pose here. If you wanna stay right here, maybe just a triangle pose, straighten your front leg, or walking your left hand forward, floating your right leg up, half moon pose. Stack your shoulders as best you can, energize and activate your legs and your core. Tone your thighs, draw thighs to hips, maybe squeeze that left glute a little bit more as it wraps under. Press out through your feet, Nice, Rosalie, lift the back leg even more. Good, Melody, right shoulder back a little bit more. Pablo, really nice, standing leg strong. Everyone, let's slowly unwind. Meet me back, circle the right hand forward, step the right foot back, side plank to the right side. Last time, open your left arm to the sky, press through your right hand, step your left foot back. If you want the wild thing, one more time, take it. Nice, Talia. Right glute engaged. Take your head back a little more tall. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Even more. Let that chest open up. Good. Come back around plank pose, friends. So good. Lower, please, chaturanga. Cobra pose. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. All right. One more time through. This first little round is just a little spicy movement to play with. We have such a stable foundation underneath us already. Our strength, our knowledge, our um, capacity for understanding. We can now add these fun little movements. Lift your right leg to the sky. Stretch it up, kick it back. Cross the body, right knee to tap or get close to tapping the left arm. Do your best and then take it back to the sky. It's okay if it doesn't get all the way there. Just rock forward and do your best. Right knee to your left side. If it taps the arm, great. If not, also great. Inhale, take it up and back. One more time, right knee to cross the body. This time you'll keep the right knee on the left side. Extend as best you can your right leg out to your left, pause. You can stay right here with both hands down and just press up through your feet. It's a really cool twist. Or use your foundation, use your knowledge, open your left arm up to the sky. So remember the actions that we talked about, toning the thighs, drawing thighs to hips, keeping that muscular engagement as you expand, keeping that solid, stable foundation. Place your left hand down, take your right leg back to the sky. Three-legged dog, really nice job, my friends. Right knee into your chest, step between your hands. Take a moment, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Tone your thighs. Engage, be active, be strong, rise up, crescent lunge. Use your solid foundation to expand if you want to. You can also stay right here, adding the twist as an option. Reach your right arm back, left arm forward. Stay here or take your right hand to your left thigh. Reach your left arm up and back. So you get this nice little back bend action here. Please tone your thighs. Remember that engagement, drop thighs to hips. Hopefully that action makes you feel really stable. Please breathe. Another action to stay stable, draw the belly in. When you're ready, expand with freedom. Press through your feet, lift through your chest. Take your right arm up to the sky, straighten your right leg. Last time in Skandasana. Left knee bending, right leg extending. Keep your hips back, keep your heels down. Nice, Mason. Breathe, stay low, side angle pose. Right hand down inside the right ankle, left arm sweeps forward. Good, Sunny, come back to the top of the mat. Make sure your right toes are pointing all the way forward. Your left toes are turned in, nice, Monica. Wrap your right hip back and underneath you a little more. Then do me a favor, friends, turn, look to your left. Just trust that you're there in the right position. For a moment, let go of the gaze of the camera so that you can find your alignment in your spine. Pull your navel in, lengthen through your low back. Nice. 
When you're ready, straighten your right leg, triangle pose. Stay here or walk your right hand forward, float your left leg up, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand down and right leg, uh, left leg lifted, sorry, right hand down, left leg lifted. Good, June, lift your left arm up more, June. Let's see, Jeff, uh, good, there you go, Jeff. Jeff, make that back leg stronger, tone the thigh, flex the toes, lift that left leg up. Remember friends, that left leg isn't just hovering, it's lifting, pull the left leg up. You got it, Jen. Circle the left arm all the way forward. Step your left foot way back behind you. It's our last time in a side plank pose. Take your right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot to your left foot. Stay in side plank or wild thing. Wild thing. You make everything groovy. Get groovy with it. Press to your feet. Uh, Mason, take your right arm over your head more. Yes, there you go. Annie, same thing. Right arm reaches over your head, forward, over your head. Yes, Annie. Come back around, everyone. Last time, vinyasa. Lower down, chaturanga. So good. Cobra pose. There you go, Brian. Elbows in, shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Woo, hopefully you got a little spicy there at the end. Getting that heat up, letting yourself know you're capable of how strong you are. Please lower your knees down to the ground. Take your knees wide, bring your toes together, child's pose. All right, walk your hands in, sit up. So here's your choices. Just a little time for inversions if you want them. I'm gonna give you a lot of different options for your inversions, okay? Option one is a headstand. And we'll come into that headstand potentially from our crow pose. Totally optional. Option two is to lie on your back and take your legs up for a, a shoulder stand or a plow pose. All right, I'll demonstrate option one first, wait for it, then I'll show you option two. Okay. Option one, we'll come into our crow pose, maybe from the crow pose into a headstand. Maybe you don't even take the full crow, but it's a really great way to help us find our alignment. So as I lower my head down, I'm gonna make sure my head comes out past my fingers, not placing my head between my hands. Knees, backs of the arms. I've got my knees on my elbows, which is a really great place for finding the stacking of the pose. I'm gonna tilt forward, Bring my head out past my fingers. So hopefully in the angle of the camera now, you can see that I don't have my head between my hands. It's gonna be really unstable, but I'm putting my head just forward of my fingers so I can see all 10 of my fingers. Next, if you feel comfortable here, push down into your hands, keep your arms and shoulders active. Try with just like the crow pose, lifting up one foot, maybe a second foot, and this could be where you stay today. This is a headstand, you're standing on your head. If you're still feeling like, okay, this feels okay, I think I might be able to go further, you'll tilt your hips forward, tilt your hips forward. Don't think about getting your legs up as much as trying to pull your hips over your shoulders. All right, maybe it's one leg at a time, it's actually kind of hard. Maybe it's both legs at the same time. And you can take it along a lot of different paths, right? Maybe you're gonna just go from here, and just try to pick the knees up. Maybe the hips come over and the legs go up, all right? So if you wanna go next to a wall, that's fine, but should hopefully be pretty comfortable where you are. We have the strength built into us to kind of make this pose manifest. If that doesn't feel good to you or you don't feel like that's the pose for you today, that's fine. You can come onto your backs and take your legs up. Maybe support your low back with your hands and take your shoulder stand. Either one of those two options 
for the next minute or so. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask. I'm happy to help out as best I can. If you've never done either of those poses before, ask a question. Let me know what I can do to help you. If you want to try something new, let me know. I'm happy to assist. Nice, Lauren. Lauren, start to add some side bends here. So I want you to bend your knees so that your thighs are about parallel to the ground. And then take your hips, oh, you got it. Take your hips to the left and right, I'll show you. You can also do it here, Lauren. Taking the next 20 or so seconds to just have fun. Nice, Nico. Strong legs, Nico. Let me see those legs come together. Taking this time to just remember that there's joy in this practice, joy in discovery, joy in the challenge. Good, Lauren. Joy in experiencing your strengths and making them stronger. These look so amazing, everybody. If you have questions or don't have, feel like you have something to do, let me know. I'll help you get there. If you're choosing to not do any inversions, maybe a child's pose or something to stay active, something to stay a part of the practice. So, finishing up your last round of being awesome, and then we'll continue to be awesome in another pose. So good, my friends. When you're ready, come down. Nice, Pablo. Come down. Nice, Susan. Make your way onto your backs, please. Excellent job, my friends. Excellent, excellent job. Arms by your side and feet flat on the ground. We're going to go into a bridge pose here. Take a moment. Find your breath in through your nose, out through your nose. The anchor point of this pose is the back of the head because it becomes really the only thing on the ground. So without pushing the back of the head down, you want to start to energetically expand from that point. Here we go. Hug your shins in, spiral your thighs down, lift your outer hips up so that your low back broadens. If you prefer to kind of hook your thumbs or your hands underneath your low back for support, you can. Just go ahead and catch your hips with your hands. It's great. If you have props with you, you can also place blocks underneath your low back for support. If you are going without support today, interlace your hands behind your back or grab the edges of your mat. Wherever you end up, remember to breathe. Remember to use your knowledge of your stability, of your foundation to create freedom and expand into the space that is you. Shins hug in, inner thighs spin down. Lift into your outer hips. Now from the back of your head, gently extend out to the fronts of your knees. From the back of your head, extend out to the crown of your head and breathe, full stretch. Please lower your hips all the way down. Take a moment, find your breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Let's go up again, same thing, bridge pose. If you choose to, you can take it up to an upward facing bow. So I'll demo that just so you have the option, but you might stay with bridge. You might also keep your hands underneath your hips for support. When you're ready, inhale to press up, back bend of your choice. Press to your feet, hug your shins in, spiral your inner thighs down. Nice, Monica. Monica, can you turn your big toes in just a little bit more, parallel your feet? There you go. Does that feel okay? Hug your shins in. Spiral your inner thighs down. Good, Nico. Nice, Alex. From the center of your hips, everyone, start to extend out to the fronts of your knees, through your heart. Good, Monica. And if you can, if you're in that upward bow, nice, Rosalie, try to straighten your legs so that your shoulders come a little bit more over your wrists. For three. If you're on the ground in that bridge pose, still hold it. Shins in. Thighs down. Two. Good, Alex, press to your feet. And one, slowly, everybody. 
Come on down to Funkatown. Nice job, friends. Windshield wiper your knees from right to left a few times. And the next time the knees land on the left, just go ahead and keep them there. Look over your right shoulder. Breathe. Tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes a little bit. I'm going to turn this into another twist. Take your right hand over towards your left. Start to roll over onto your left side. Your legs are going to stay exactly as they are. Press yourself up onto your hands, still keeping your legs the same in the same position. Walk your hands towards the back of your mat and come onto your forearms. Legs remain the same, exactly how they were. You're just now turning your stomach towards the ground. It's a twist in the other way. For a deeper stretch here, thread your right arm underneath your left arm and land on your right shoulder. Just a breath or two here. And slowly start to unwind and switch to the other side. Come back onto your back. Take your knees over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Tone your thighs, lightly engage the glutes. Take your left hand over to the right, please. Roll over to your right side and press yourself up. Come onto your forearms facing the back of the mat. Keep your legs just how they are. But now you're just twisting so that your navel's pointing down. Good. Um, Gene, if you can, slide your left knee back so that your right foot is on your left thigh. Bottom foot on the top thigh. You're just gonna slide your, uh, yeah, other way. There you go. Yep. Now, slide your left arm under your right arm, optional, lie down on your left shoulder. Oh, that's a big twist. And slowly make your way back up. Let's come up to seated, my friends. Finishing up here with a wide-legged fold. Take your feet out nice and wide. Big breath in, sit up tall. Exhale, fold it in, down the center. Tone your thighs. Right, you've got these actions of stability. They even apply here, drop thighs to hips. Keep the glutes engaged and press out through your feet, fold in. Two more breaths. Inhale, pick it up. So good, everyone. Bring your feet back together and lie down onto your backs. Last pose, grab your feet, happy baby. Pull your thighs wide and down. Rock it out, please, for three. Ooh, two. So good, my friends. And one, release the legs down to the ground. Shavasana. If there's any other movement you want to take to feel complete, take it now. If there's any other shapes that you want to take to have fun, to find joy, do that now. Otherwise, maybe this is what's bringing you joy now. Shavasana. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, please. 
Roll out your wrists and your ankles. You're welcome to stay on your back as long as you'd like. But if you're ready to start moving, please stretch out your arms and your legs. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out, let it go. And bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and rock your way up to seated. From a seated position, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. Let's close with just one solid ohm, linking us together from wherever we are. Exhale all the way out. Inhale for ohm. The light in me honors the light in you. May that light shine brightly for us all. Thank you for practice. Thank you so much, everyone. Great, great job today. We worked really hard. We got a lot of stuff into a little bit of time, so I appreciate you sticking with it and doing your very best. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback from me, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out, Stephen Arcos Yoga on Instagram or Facebook. You can email me, Stephen at Stephen Arcos Yoga, or just check out my website, StephenArcosYoga.com, and be a subscriber. Um, if you have the ability to give, my Venmo is also Stephen Arcos Yoga, and I greatly appreciate anything you can offer. Thank you very much again for being here. Uh, all are welcome, so tell your friends and your family. And I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you so much. Also, uh, 